guys, this is Aaron from Geek and Emin Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a UI picker with videos. So we're already in a simulator, an example of what we created today. But the basic UI picker here, and we're able to select three videos from our little pick here. So as soon as I let go and pick one, it starts playing the video. And pause it and done. And go to video two. Video three, and there we go. It's a great little system here. It's creating a kind of like a menu kind of little feature here, able to allow the user to view as many videos as they as you you know allow them to, all from simply a UI picker. So already, I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone, and I've simply named it Picker with Videos for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is import our video files. Now I have three videos here. Drag and drop those in. Now you can have as many as you like. The more you have, meaning the more um, outlets you have in your picker. So um, now we've imported our video files, what we need to do next is add the media player framework to allow us to play the videos in our apps. So if you go to build phases and link binary with libraries, and then just type in media player, should get it from there. There we go. Let's add that in. Once you've done that, if you go to our view controller.h and then simply import our media player forward slash media player dot h. And then once you've done that, we'll simply add the UI view controller, we do space bracket and then press enter and then we can simply start by adding our outlet so we do ib outlet ui picker view space asterisk and I'll simply name it picker and now we're semicolon then we need to create an ns array for the titles in our picker view so simply do ns array space picker data and then we're semicolon press enter and then we need to create our actions but before we do that we need to uh, create the app property to retain it so we do at property space bracket retain comma space non atomic and then a bracket there. So if we just do two of those, and then we just copy our IB outlet there, and then copy our NS string, just to save us a little bit of time. This is so we can synthesize it in our dot m. So you know, causing no memory leaks or whatnot. So once you've done that, we can save, jump into our view control dot m, and just under the implementation here, we do at synthesize, and then we do picker and then comma picker data and then end that with a semicolon. Now that we need to do that we need to add in our view did load section there. So what we're going to add in our view did load is basically when the view loads in our it's going to load up the array in uh, our picker views to our preset titles. So do ns array space Asterisk array space equal space bracket bracket ns array space alloc and after the bracket there we do init with objects and in the first highlight set well in the highlight section here we do add symbol quotation mark quotation mark and then we do an after the comma there we do add symbol quotation mark quotation mark again comma at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and then that red comma. So that creates our three titles there. If you've got more, you just add another set of at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and a comma. So in our first one here, we do video one, video two, and video three. This will display the text lines in our picker. 
So then once you've done that, you enter self dot picker data space equals array. So our picker data is going to equal the array, our NS array that we set there in that array semicolon. And now we've done that, so just after the uh, um, you did load here, we're going to um, enter our NS integra. So we do dash bracket capitals NS integra there. And after that, we do number of component. Number of components there, have I spelt that correctly? No, it doesn't matter. Um, in picker view, we do colon bracket UI picker view space asterisk and array bracket there, and then we do picker view space bracket and press enter, and we do to return in expression one. And that would be a semicolon. And then after that, we need to create another one. This one will be for the number of rows in our component. So then what we'll do is dash bracket, repeat the same process, ns, integra there. And then after the bracket there, we do number, sorry, um, not number again, we've written that line, picker view. So pick a view there, colon, bracket, UI picker view, space asterisk, bracket, pick a view, space, number of rows in component, and then we do space, curly bracket, and press enter. And this time we do return in the expression, new bracket. Pick a view, um, pick a data, sorry, space count. This is going to go to our pick a data and bring up the array and kind of show the um, that there's three um, titles and display them. So in that array, semicolon. And now we need to add our ns string. So we do dash bracket ns string space asterisk after the bracket we do picker view capture on the view there picker view and then colon and then we do bracket UI picker view space asterisk after that we do picker view again space title for row component there a new space bracket and press enter now this time we do return in the expression we do bracket self dot pick a view or pick a data sorry the amount of times I said pick a view and getting confused uh, pick a data object at index and in that we do row in that very bracket and a semicolon now for our final one we need to do for when the uh, picker view does select one of the rows, so we do dash bracket void bracket picker view um, colon bracket UI picker view space asterisk space picker view did select row do space go to, um, open bracket and close bracket there. So now in here will be uh, the code for when one of the rows is selected what's going to happen. So what we do is create an int Ooh. int space call it select space equals space so we type in row give it a name row sorry well for our equals row sorry um, and then bracket, and then we do if statement there. So, so if select equals equals 
0, then the statement here will be our code for when it plays a video. Else, if um, select space equals equals 1, then we space bracket and enter. Now we just copy that there and paste it there. So as we've got three videos all together, let's get rid of it, make it spaced out correctly. So as you've got three videos all together, so if the first one selected video one, it will play the code in this section here. If the second one selected, it will play the code there. And if the third one selected, it will play the code there. Now the code for playing our video is, is um, similar to our previous tutorial as, we sh as I'll show you how to play a video file. So all I have to do is nsurl space, oh sorry, nsurl space asterisk url space equals space bracket nsurl space file with um, file url with path in the highlighter section here we do bracket bracket ns bundle. Space main bundle, that's in the first bracket there, we space path for resource and we do add symbol quotation mark quotation mark and the name of our first video which is capital video one and type of we do add symbol quotation mark quotation mark and um, which is the MP4 um, file. And then we do two brackets there and that with a semicolon, press enter. Now we do capital MP movie um, MP movie player player just looking for it now MP movie player view controller just trying to find it for you that was simply so I'd be a lot quicker movie player view controller there we go space asterisk name it player controller space equals space bracket bracket mp movie player view controller space alloc and there a bracket there and space and init with component url and in the highlight section here we type in url and then a bracket and then a semicolon. Then we do bracket self space present view um, present movie view controller. And in the highlighter section here we do player view controller. And then a semicolon. Then we do player view controller. Dot movie player. Dot movie um, source type MP movie uh, source type there we go source type and that will be a semicolon and then press enter bracket uh, player controller again dot movie player space Play. And over a bracket and a semicolon, and then player um, controller once more space equals nil, and that with a semicolon. So, pretty long code, and yep, did take quite a while to type it out. But if we paste it in our other two, and then just change the name of our video file, and once you've done that, we can jump into our view controller.xid where we can finally add in our picket view and we need to control click and drag it to our files owner and link it up to our data source and once more again to our delegate click on files owner and go to our connections and link up our picker to our picker view and then finally we can build and run to our simulator where we can test it out and make sure it works so now it's loaded so once we 
move it up and down and select one Ooh. it plays our video so do that once more video one plays pause it we can skip it close it select that second one plays done third one and it is done so that's simply how you play videos using your UI picker so it was a pretty long tutorial but we got there in the end so once again, I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and like and favorite the video. It really does help us out. Make sure you like and follow, um, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And check out all our apps, which are on the App Store, by simply searching Geeky Lemon. But again, once more, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all next time in our next... Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.